Hello Neppers, it's me, Wild Neptune, and in this video, we're going over the hero coming up, Ilanov. If you should pull her, if you should wait, uh, how I think she's gonna be in the current meta. So, uh, let's get going. here uh great if you're great going design, to stand on the same battlefield way, as me in my opinion fight like you're ready to die good uh pretty good voice or i'll kill you myself Two. for every tear we've shed you will bleed a hundred times over Got you. Definitely. for the sins of you and your kind so you will suffer knight. Um, she has the same uh, consolation as Charles. So we have a Charles. You can just, you know, put gear on him and be able to uh, see how well you can gear her. So that means she does have a crit chance concentration and she's a knight that is going to want some damage. So getting this concentration up um, is definitely going to help you... Uh, Raise that damage. So, see here. She has good attack, good health. She, all her stats all, um, across the board are really good, actually. So, well statted. But her, what's her kink? Well, let's get into it here. Okay. So, her skill 3. Repel. It is a four-turn skill. Um, after the Mola, and attacks all enemies mercilessly and grants increased crit hit damage to all allies for two turns and immunity to the caster for two turns. So, there aren't a lot of heroes that grant increased crit hit damage to the party, so that's different. Damage increases proportional to the caster's max health, so it's a pretty good buff. Right? Overall, to use. We can do a little uh, animation here in the moment. Here it is. Here it is. Man, it is really cool looking. Uh, Ooh, I like the Alright, here's skill 2. Punish. It is 4 turns, um, with 3 turns, and the soul burn with 2 souls. I mean, with two souls, with ten souls, decreases the kill tool by two turns, so you can use it every other turn. Um, attacks and pierces the enemy, so one. Inflicting injuries increases the defense of the caster for two turns. Damage dealt increases proportional to the caster's max health. The severity of injuries increases proportional to the damage dealt. Injuries decrease the max health of the target by up to 20% each time the skill is used. So the way injury works is... You actually have to do damage to the target. So if there's a barrier and you can't hit the uh, go through the barrier, well, you don't injure them. Um, you only injure them by, I believe, a 1 to 1 percentage of the damage you do to their HP. So if you do 15% of the damage to their, H to their max HP, well, you'll injure them with 15%. Um, up to 20%. Kill, and Injury has been kind of like just takes a long time to rev up to be um, useful. Like fights are, either fights are over before then, or the person doing the injury just dies. Um, the screams of pain and music to my ears. Also a really good animation, honestly. honestly. Soul Yer, get some shit. Get down skill for Tiny. Yep, it turns on the decrease soul burn. So, uh, and that's one rush attacks the enemy with a spear, damage dealt, decrease the portrait of the cast's max health. So, all of them have max health scaling. When this skill is used, if it was not triggered by a dual attack, so just a dual attack, that means counter attacks are fair game, has a 50% chance to use punish instead of rush. And punish is the S2. This skill does not trigger a dual attack. So, and the skill enhances damage based on the S1, 
which honestly isn't as um depending on like how much you need here i would say that the s2 is definitely the thing you probably want to mold with the most but because she's a damage dealing unit you probably want it all at plus 15 and this makes it so that you can stack um injury pretty quickly if he gets those counter attacks these like random 50 percent everything like that um just push in a lot of uh 돌진 창으로 적을 공격합니다 자신의 최대 생명력이 필요해 피해량이 증가합니다 협공을 제외한 상황에서 사용하 50% 확률로 돌진 대신 징벌을 사용합니다 스킬로는 협공이 발생하지 않습니다 This can actually be pretty impactful right now in the meta. So, here in fact here, uh, first of all, this is a, a top tier artifact art. Just like, not even like, not even, you know, the, um, the obvious reasons why it's top tier, but just like, you know, the red and everything, um, the, uh, it's like the overall um, composition of it. It's very like almost. It's like sinister and like seductive, you know, at the same time, right? But wings of light and shadow. So, uh, at max level, it increases crit hit's chance by fifteen percent. When a crit hit is made with a single attack, it increases damage to the next attack by twenty percent. Um. I believe it means just for the holder by 20% and it's un I'm unclear if this stacks or not. I don't think it does stack like you do 20% and then your next stack another 20% another 20% I, I don't think it does that. If it does do that this artifact is broken right. Um, Elvis is probably still better on her for the injury set, but uh, for the injury, uh, you know, mechanic on the S2. But, you know, thankfully too, this is an artifact that doesn't have to be plus, like, 30. Um, because you get the base 15% Christians all the time, and just the damage of the next attack that is being boosted. So, there have been a lot of artifacts recently where... They have to be plus 30, or like really close to it, to be used. So that, you know, it is uh, a nice little change where it's just usable uh, right off the gate. So, how do we think Illinois is going to be? Um, like I was saying before, I do think that the meta is in a place that is very well suited for her kit. Um, like I said, a lot of enemies, um, enemies, a lot of people have been building your units with high HP, lowering the defense to combat things like the true damage, um, stuff like that. And that means you do more damage with the S2, which by the way, does have really good multipliers. The, the S2 is going to do damage. Um, and... You might, you might not always do the 20%, but you'll do a pretty good chunk, and it will be noticeable as the S2s, the counterattacks you might be doing, the um, random S1s into S2s, stuff like that. They will also um, just chip away at the HP uh, much faster than any other injury setup uh, that's currently in the game. On top of that, she has built in survivability, she has a party buff. She's a just tiny bit of everything. She is very similar to Charles, um, in the in the way that mechanically she works. Uh, we're given a buff, you know, stuff like that. Um, having a S one S two kind of uh deal going on, but functionally, she is more of a. The longer the fight goes on, kind of, the better and better she's going to be. And the amount of RNG 
she needs and the triggers for, R for RNG are actually a lot easier to uh, reach than Charles, right? Because Charles needs um, an EE, he needs to have like buffs on the enemy team, uh, things like that, right? So I do think she's going to be very good. Um, maybe, honestly, I think she's going to be a, if not a meta unit, a very common unit you're going to see for um, anti-tank uh, teams and things like that. Now, the question is, should you pull her? Because there is a collab coming up. We don't know what it is yet, but we know it's coming. It's it's hard to say. Um, they are giving us a lot. And I mean a lot of bonus bookmarks and stuff um, leading up to the collab. If you have, I'd say, two pities worth of... Um, stuff, I would probably pull on her. Just one copy. Um, if you have less than that, you can afford to wait maybe a couple of weeks, like right before she ends, to see, you know, how much you've saved, how many book requests you required, how she's actually doing in the meta. Um, me personally, I am going to pull. I have a lot of bookmarks, but those are my thoughts on Ilinov. As always, I'm on Neptune. Uh, be sure to follow me at Twitch at Twitch at Twitch on Neptune. If you like this video and want to see more like it, uh, please leave a like down below, subscribe, do all that jazz. Anyway, been a good one. Nep out.